Hello, and thank you for watching the Commons EMS Web App tutorial videos. My name is Savannah Smith, and I am the Event and Systems Coordinator in the Monroe Park Campus Commons Building. I aid in booking academic spaces on this campus, as well as doing back-end admin work for EMS and the Web App, as far as account access and troubleshooting. In this video, I will show you how to view spaces on the Web App site. After you log in and are led to the home page you, that you see here, um, you will have a lot of options moving forward. There's lots of tabs here and lots of things to, to read and look at. So to view information about a space, you can select the about button right over here pertaining to the space you would like to know more about. You can do this on the home page as seen here. So you can click about there and it gives you information, a little blurb about um, each space listed there under each reservation template. And these reservation templates, templates will be um, specific to each person and their access and like what campus and um, department they're booking for and things like that. So you may have more, you may have less than I have here. So you can also um, view spaces by clicking the locations tab takes a second to load and this is a great way to look at the availability of a space. Um, once you select the locations tab, again, you'll see this gridded calendar here with spaces, dates, and times. To see the availability of the space you may want, all you'll need to do is select the potential date you're wanting to book the space. So here you can um, click through the week or you can click here and scroll through the months. Um, and you can also do this by scrolling down and looking at the different spaces. Again, you may have more or less options than I have here. Um, but this shows me the spaces across both campuses and it shows their availability. Um, when you see this thick blue line here, that means the space is booked. It's not going to tell you what event it is or what's going on, but it will just be blocked off um, so that you can't book it. But if it has an open space, you should have no problem booking it. Um, However, you will need to keep in mind that we do have a 10 day window that we, we requ work with require, excuse me, um, when you're booking. So you will need to book things 10 days out, 10 business days out um, or two weeks to the date that you're actually wanting. So I wouldn't be able to actually book anything today, but if I change the date to let's say March 18th, I would be able to book something successfully um, as long as the space was available most likely. Um, I know as of right now, it is February 16th. Um, we're right in the middle of COVID. So, you know, we have limits on what is able to be booked. I know academic spaces in the Lyric Student Center is not able to be booked, but um, if you try to book a space that is closed or is um, just unavailable, like offline, um, you'll get an error message. So it'll either be offline or booked already or just unavailable to be booked. And we've probably set it that way for a reason. But if you incur encounter any error, feel free to reach out to me at smithsj2 at vcu.edu. Or you can also reach out to our main office account, which is um, usca event at vcu.edu as well. And you will get a response there on how to fix the errors that you're experiencing. As far as the filters that you can place on your search for spaces here, um, the filters can be related to date, location, capacity, features, or room and setup types. So you'll just need to go to add filter and you can select here whatever you need as that is specific to your event and the space that you're wanting. Um, you can make your search as broad or as specific as you would like. My advice is to make your search broad. Um, many times users make their searches far too narrow and they do not find what they're looking for. And so I would start your search by selecting a date and just going from there, or you can simply choose a date and scroll through the spaces. But don't forget to check the space availability before you go and book something um, just to make it easier on you. So I would recommend checking here first to make sure it's even available. And then you can go create a reservation here, um, order it from, the, from that homepage, you know, or you can search for the space specifically. But again, um, this should be your first stop just to make sure that that space is available. Thanks for watching this video. And on the next one, I'm going to show you how to actually book a space.